major milestone at Fort Calhoun's nuclear power plant. Problems over the past four years? Deemed fixed. The Nuclear Regulatory Commission gives OPPD the green light to operate without federal oversight. From floods and fire to performance issues found by federal inspectors, Fort Calhoun's nuclear power plant has had a lot of problems over the past four years. OPPD president and CEO Gary Gates. There's been about a third of the people that were here prior to the flood have changed, changed over. We put in many, many uh, points of oversight to watch how we're doing and being very intrusive. And that comes after 60,000 hours of special inspections and assessments done by the Nuclear Regulatory Commission. Now, OPPD's power plant is upgraded to column one status. It's the column that says you're running your own show here in a safe way, and the NRC recognizes that. OPPD also restructured its operations, bringing in Exelon Corporation to manage the plant in 2012. You know, we're finishing up our first cycle of operation. Uh, the plant has run about 97 percent capacity factor. Lou Cordoposi is now OPPD's chief nuclear officer. He tells me the new plans and procedures are precise and practice the exact same way at several other nuclear power plants. And it just gives us a very good benchmark uh, so that if we were to see any slight decline in performance, it just becomes very evident uh, much quicker. Something OPPD's CEO calls lesson learned. But Gary Gates isn't looking back. The unit is safe. It'll continue to be a good asset for OPPD in the future. And it has returned to the peer group that it should, which is the top performers. That's where it belongs. That's where it's going to stay. Nuclear regulator regulators will still inspect OPPD's power plant, but as, just as it does with every site in the United States, the company also relies on its separate oversight committee to oversee all of those improvements and keep them in place. And if you'd like to learn more about those specific issues, OPPD is going to share that at its next meeting, April 9th. It's at the Thompson Center at 67th and Dodge. Well, still no nuclear deal with Iran on the world.